Those are the most iconic dwarf planets in the circumstellar disk, known as the Kuiper Belt, so far from the Sun that it is considered as one of the coldest regions in space, with temperatures hovering at minus 223 degrees Celsius, however still located in the solar system. Welcome to the journey through the ring of icy bodies outside of Neptune's orbit. Sit down and enjoy the video. What exactly is the Kuiper Belt? A belt named after Gerard Kuiper, a scientist who published a scientific paper in 1951 that speculated about objects beyond Pluto, is a disk of frozen asteroids, comets, dwarf planets and other space debris. It holds one of the weirdest dwarf planets ever discovered. Its length is estimated to be 20 times the size of the asteroid belt located between Mars and Jupiter and its mass to be ever more. The belt contains more than one trillion smaller bodies such as comets and even a dwarf star. Yes, a dwarf star. As the Kuiper belt helps us understand how the solar system formed, some people think that our solar system was once a binary star system and the second star has become a dwarf star. A dense object hiding somewhere in the Kuiper belt or beyond. There are few pieces of evidence about this, so we can't say it's impossible. The Kuiper Belt itself is the end zone of the solar system in terms of physical objects that are reachable and a zone reached only by one spacecraft. This is the Kuiper Belt and we will have a look at what is hiding inside this magnificent formation. The Kuiper Belt is home to four officially recognized dwarf planets out of the five ever discovered and potentially hundreds of others that have not yet been discovered. Let's begin our journey at the one that is very recognized, a small planet, a dwarf planet called Pluto. Pluto is an object of the Kuiper Belt, although many people don't know it. However, is probably the most known of all Kuiper Belt, with the title of the favorite dwarf planet since 2006. Pluto is unique because of its orange appearance and its orbit, its orbit is unusual compared to the rest of the planets in the solar system. It's both elliptical and tilted. Its orbit is so elliptical, it even crosses Neptune's orbit at some point, and Pluto is closer to the Sun than Neptune, although Neptune is 875 million miles closer to the Sun. It is almost impossible to study the celestial body and its details, but we have managed to get some information about the planet. Pluto is only about 1,400 miles wide and its temperatures can stretch to minus 240 degrees Celsius. Its surface is characterized by mountains, valleys, plains and craters with the tallest mountain's height being more than one and a half miles. Pluto's surface is covered by a combination of nitrogen-rich ice and water ice. Enough about Pluto, and let's look at the other three, for you probably more interesting planets. Haumea For some people the strangest dwarf planet, Haumea is a classified dwarf planet shaped like an egg and named after the Hawaiian goddess of birth and fertility. In September 2008, the International Astronomical Union designated Haumea as the fifth officially recognized dwarf planet. It is home to two moons and the fifth recognized icy ring in the Kuiper Belt as well, as it is one of the fastest spinning objects in the solar system with full rotation in four hours, however, full orbit in 285 Earth years. 
Haumea is near the same size as Pluto, making it even more interesting. Splash across its surface is a mysterious red spot. This very bright red-looking part can be considered as a possible scar from a recent impact. We don't know for sure because Haumea is very hard to study, despite its size, low brightness and enormous distance from Earth. So unfortunately, there is no real photograph of this weird dwarf planet. So let's move on to another one. Another mysterious dwarf planet on our list is Makemake. Makemake, the second brightest object in the whole Kuiper Belt as seen from the Earth, is possibly the biggest dwarf planet in the solar system. The dwarf planet itself was discovered in 2005, unlike Pluto, which was discovered in 1930. Makemake is along with Pluto one of the dwarf planets whose potential atmosphere was allowed for scientists to discover based on certain readings. According to astronomers and their findings, the dwarf planet could be missing its atmosphere. The research calculated that the dwarf planet's atmosphere is 80 million to 200 million times thinner than the atmosphere here on Earth. Still, there might be patches of atmosphere overlying warmer on its surface. We suspect that these dark patches might be concentrated near the latitude of the subsolar point of the planet. The subsolar point of the dwarf planet is a point where the solar rays reach the surface with the maximum heating possible. It is extremely remarkable that we can get an accurate knowledge of important properties of these mysterious dwarf planets, even though they are so far away, said lead study author Jose Ortiz. Now, let's reveal the last mysterious dwarf planet on the list. Neptunian object in the scattered disk with a high eccentricity orbit, the most massive of all the dwarf planets in the solar system. This dwarf planet carries the name of an ancient Greek goddess of discord and strife, Eris. Eris is believed to be over 2,000 kilometers large and was very close to becoming the 10th planet in the solar system. The surface and the atmosphere. This dwarf planet is cold as well as its neighbors. This variety is between minus 216 Celsius and minus 240 Celsius. Like on the dwarf planet Makemake, no surface features can be observed directly from Earth, regardless of whether the telescopes are on the ground or in space. In 2005, a telescope in Hawaii and an analysis of the infrared spectrum confirmed the presence of methane on the surface. Further analysis indicated an abundance of carbon monoxide and nitrogen. This makes Eris very similar to our most common dwarf planet, Pluto. Sublimation processes may be possible at these cold temperatures, as methane is highly volatile. Eris has also a one moon. This moon is called Dysnomia and is the second largest moon of a dwarf planet after Pluto's Charon holding the title. Dysnomia has a very dark surface that reflects only 5% of incoming visible light and the moon is likely formed from a large impact on Eris in the past. This video will soon end. Don't forget to join our channel for more space journeys through the universe. See you later.